Black Ops is a series known for outlandish alternate history and boy has it gone places at times. From the numbers mason to rock videos, here are seven of the wildest things that happened both in and around the Black Ops series. Number one, mind within mind control. As various characters in the Black Ops series, you as the player have been mind controlled quite a lot. You were mind controlled to kill the US president, deemed a mind control failure, and were re-mind controlled by Viktor Reznov to carry out his personal vendettas. All must die. In Black Ops 3, you play as a mind controlled future soldier, so mind controlled, you literally just refer to yourself as player, and don't know who you are or what's even real. My mind hurts. Number 2. That time you didn't kill Kennedy, but maybe you did? In Black Ops 1, there's a scene where you're talking to President JFK and the numbers come up, pressing you to kill him, but you resist. Or did you? When you're drowning Dragovich at the end of the game, you say, You tried to make me kill my own president. His response is, Tried? Later, you're seen in a hazy memory near Kennedy as he gets off a plane. This scene just might be Dragovich messing with Mason's mind, but what do you think? Number 3. Woods Shoots Mason Black Ops 2 had a branching storyline with alternate endings, which was pretty cool. In one part of the campaign, players, in the role of Woods, chilling with Manuel Noriega by the way, are asked to shoot a hooded captive. The captive turned out to be Alex Mason, the main character from the first Black Ops game. A lot of you bloodthirsty savages killed him. Mason! Alternatively, some sharp-eyed folks noticed the prisoner, whose face was covered, was wearing Mason's clothes, not Menendez's. So what'd they do? Shoot him in the leg. Take the headshot. Doing this gives you the family reunion achievement and slightly changes the ending of the game. Either way, Woods ends up raising Mason's kid David and lying about what happened. But if you don't shoot Alex in the head, he will show up at the ending and they will have a colorful reunion with both Woods and David. Dave, how you doing? <laughs> this is your dad. What the f Side note that this ending here is canon. Number 4. Avenge Sevenfold's Carry On Music Video Black Ops 2 had some really dark endings, and when all was said and done and Cortez D may or may not have totally destroyed modern civilization, Woods and Menendez put their differences aside to make a music video. Seriously. Menendez! What the f*** are you doing? Woods on drums, of course, because apparently he never needed his wheelchair. I'm ready to roll, baby! What the f***? Oh, that s***? Nah, I'm just f***ing lazy. Let's go kill this thing! Hoorah! Double time! That means you, Menendez! <laughs> Number 5. The End of Black Ops 3. Like, all of it. Talking forests, muted characters, AI murder, god siblings, zombies, burning heart metaphors. Seriously, ask around. Nobody really knows or agrees what the hell happened at the end of Black Ops 3. Do you have any idea? No. For starters, you get delimbed and placed in a coma and are probably living someone else's memories the entire time. It's unclear whose memories the player is living at at any given moment. The person or person's memories are often faulty, unreliable, or just plain false. A computer virus is infecting the player all along, corrupting their sanity, and probably making them see some people as other people. There's so much noise in my head, I can't even think! There's this frozen forest which other than being a premium ASMR experience, silences main characters as they desperately try to tell you the plot. So yeah, let's just all slowly back away from this entry in the series. Except for multiplayer. Number 6. That time you killed Castro. For a second. In Call of Duty Black Ops first mission, they just get right into it, and you kill Fidel Castro Max Payne style. It isn't until the end of the mission that you find out you killed his stunt double. It's a good thing too, because Castro goes on to help you fight the zombies later on. I mean, this is all canon, right? Do not pray for easy lives, my friends. Pray to be stronger men. Number 7. Activision gets sued. The opening of Black Ops 2 showed a rebel leader wielding a grenade launcher and spurring his forces on to mow down enemy soldiers. It made for a pretty memorable opening, but it turns out the man was a real-life military leader named Jonas Zavimbi, who actually died in battle. His family sued Activision for 1 million euro for depicting their father as a barbarian wanting to kill everybody. 
Believe it or not, Activision was also sued by Manuel Noriega, but the case was dismissed. With Call of Duty Cold War coming up, there will probably be plenty more wild moments in alternate history to look forward to. What other wild Black Ops moments can you think of? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out GameSpot's online store where you can pick up masks amongst other handy items. Thanks for watching.